Today, the Mack Bulldog adorns the hood of every Mack truck that we build. But the history of the Bulldog goes back all the way to 1933, when our chief engineer at the time, Alfred Masery, was hospitalized. And while hospitalized, he was, took on the task of designing an integrated hood opener. And he carved a Bulldog out of a bar of soap. And that bar of soap became the prototype, which became a wood prototype after that which then got turned into the metal bulldog that we use today and it's still the same dog today with very few minor modifications. Mac's been using the bulldog in its advertising since 1922. In 1927, Mac applied and received a trademark patent for the bulldog as its official corporate symbol. And this is the document that, give, that shows the registration and this is the dog that was actually used in the ad that was photographed for the advertisement that, that was used to register the truck. The Mack Brothers started the International Motor Car Company back in 1900. Um, so we're over a century old. And the first, they started as wagon makers, uh, but then they went into the motorized wagons, which became uh, in New York City, where they were founded in Brooklyn, the, they turned their wagon industry into a bus and coach industry. The first Mack was used in Prospect Park up in New York City, and it ran for over a million miles. So the first Mack was a bus, and the first bus was a Mack. The Mack AC model is probably one of the most famous trucks in our lineup. It got famous during World War I when the British soldiers, who actually gave the Mack Bulldog its name. Um, during World War I, when all the other trucks might have got stuck in the muck and the mire, they called in what they called the Bulldog Max because they could pull them out and get them out and get them running again. So the British soldiers in World War I were the first one to uh, ever call it a Bulldog Mac because of the way it reminded them of the British Bulldog. And uh, the name stuck, and in 1922, we started using it in advertising, and uh, it's been uh, the Mac Bulldog ever since. Mac is known to cover a lot of different market segments, construction, highway, and refuse. This is our Mac LR model. The LR model is uh, an inner city refuse truck. It could be used as a side loader, a rear packer, um, recycling truck. It comes with two door configurations and the door with the stand up option on the side here. So one person can operate this, operate the controls and pick up the garbage. And um, Mac is the leader in the refuse industry and the Mac LR is a huge part of that. Mac is such an iconic brand. We get approached by a lot of different TV producers and movie houses that want to use Mac trucks in their movies. This truck behind me was used in one of the Transformer movies. Um, all in all, I think Mac has appeared in more than 20 different movies uh, over the course of cinematography history. And it's just one of those names that is synonymous with trucking. And even if you don't know trucking, many people consider a, any big truck a Mac truck because it's synonymous with, with trucking. This is the newest entry to the Mac family. It's the Mac Anthem. It was introduced in September of uh, 2017. And uh, it comes in a variety of sleeper sizes, 70 inch high rise, 42 inch mid rise sleeper, and also it comes in a day cab. So very versatile truck. The acceptance since it was introduced in 2017 has been phenomenal. Market share continues to grow and interest continues to be developed. So this is the customer centers where we bring people so that they can test drive the Anthem. And, um, Many of those test drives turn into sales. If we can get their butt in the seat, chances are we can get them to buy the truck. That's been historically the case. We're in the driver's cabin of the Mac Anthem. Um, the designing of the Mac Anthem was done with the input of hundreds of drivers and finding out just what they wanted in a truck. It was all done with thoughtful design so that all of the major switches and controls are within the driver's reach, designed to limit driver fatigue and make their job easier. Uh, long rolls, long uh, highway rides uh, can be grueling for drivers, so you want to make them as comfortable as possible, both in the cabin and in their sleeping compartment.